Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another episode of Fish Dive Cook. I'm actually getting ready right now so I can go do a dive. Been doing a lot of fishing lately. Uh, some halibut fishing. And I think it's just time to go get wet. Jump in, hopefully get a lingcod, a couple rockfish. Uh, we'll see. So I'm going to tag up with one of my dive buddies and, uh, and get down into the water and see if we can find some dinner or or whatever we can find. Even if we don't shoot anything, it's still a great day just to be in the water. So hopefully the visibility is okay. Um, relaxing in the water actually, visibility helps greatly with that. So if I can see the bottom, uh, it's even better. But 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet, I'll take that. So stay tuned, we're gonna get wet. Um, again, hopefully we're gonna catch some fish. See ya there. All right, I've already gone through a few dives already this morning, but on this certain drop, uh, diving a little bit more shallow, just looking for some pretty nice bouldery structure. Lots of uni everywhere, lots of um, starfish, so pretty healthy reef, right? Looking around, seeing what I can find. So checking under the holes, cracked crevices. Seems like there's always a, a big fish hiding in a really small hole. So that's what I'm currently doing right now. And there's a lot of bait. So uh, brown rockfish, kind of let this one go. Not really what I'm looking for. And just keep digging and poking around. On this particular drop, again, looking under boulders, left my gun there so I can mark the spot because I want to double check this hole right here. And lo and behold, monkey face eel. So I'm trying to line it up to where I don't hit the back of the hole. Um, this way the shaft penetrates through and the flopper penetrates. So now I'm literally trying to push the flopper and shaft in there and pulling it out and fishing it in there to make sure that the flopper engages and I can get this fish out. So that's how a monkey face eel looks and that's the type of area they usually hide in. It's a pretty shallow area. Uh, hanging out with my dive buddy. He shot a, a nice ling, so he wanted to show off a little bit. And at this point, I've, I only have this monkey face eel so far, so got kind of jealous and Trying to find a ling myself. So just looking at bouldery structure. A uh, pile perch hanging out. So there, there must be some predators, right? Hanging on this area. So check out this little boulder here. Nothing really home, so. I'm gonna keep looking and keep trucking. I know all of you right now looking at the uni like, oh, I should have picked some of those. Uh, sometimes I do, but the main focus here is to try and get some fish. So I left my gun down, right, uh, just to mark that spot. And then on this drop, pretty interesting thing that you see right here. It's a freaking huge link cod right next to the gun, hanging out. So I'm like, I'm really trying to control myself and have fluid movements and just kind of flow and not twitch. Uh, safety is on there, but got a shot off. Got him right in the, the cheek, actually. Uh, not the greatest shot in the world, but um, I, I guess it is one of the greatest shots in the world since the fact that you shoot it right through the cheek and you don't ruin any uh, part of the meat. So uh, got this nice link cod, put it on the stringer and drop back down again and See a link cod hanging out in an open hole. Pretty cool. Didn't really take the shot. Uh, kind of wanted something a little bit bigger, but um, it's cool to see them in this environment, right? And their colors are just amazing. It's a nice bluish link cod down there. Okay, on this drop. Put the, had the gun down again and saw a mating pair of dungeon. It's pretty cool. I, well, I don't know if they're mating, but 
the male was definitely carrying the female around. It was a, it was pretty good size, pretty big Dungeness walking around. So leave them, let them be. Again, main focus wasn't really to get crabs or uni. It was just more so focusing on getting some fish. And that's the nice thing about spear fishing. You can be very selective with the things that you catch. On this one, a uh, lot of drops in. Uh, trying to figure out what that the species that rockfish was. Um, I don't know. It, if you know what that species of that rockfish was, let, let me know what you think it is or what, what you, if you know what it was. Um, look a little bit more of a copperish fish to me, so a copper rockfish to me. So um, yeah, comment below and let me know what you think it was. And then maybe we can try and figure it out together. But well, thank you everybody for for joining me on this video. Um, stay tuned for others, and like and subscribe the video if you really, if you if you like it. Um, and then you can add me on Instagram and follow me on uh, live update stories there at on my IG is down below in the description is wild world underscore JC. So. See y'all next time for another episode of Fish Dive Cook.